people talk about a second career, well, Dave Drought took the plunge after a family medical emergency made him rethink his career path in information technology. Today, he's the proud owner of Bright Star Care, which is out to meet the soaring demand among families for home health care services. Dave Drought joins us now on our Regents Business, and welcome. Good to have you. Good to be here. Thank uh, you. A little bit out of the gate, what does Bright Star do exactly? Bright Star is a home health care and staffing agency. So what we do is we provide skilled nursing services and non-medical assistance to uh, everyone from children to seniors to disabled adults in the home. Okay. Idea to help people stay in their homes longer and avoid uh, institutional care of one sort or another? Absolutely. Stay in the home as long as possible. Skilled nursing services includes things like uh, uh, IV drug therapy or, or potentially wound care after surgery if discharged from the hospital. Non-medical assistance, which is really important to keep keeping uh, mom and dad safe and, safe, uh, and comfortable at home for as long as possible are things like uh, transportation to and from doctor's appointments, medication reminders, or help with personal care items like bathing, uh, grooming, and dressing to help them get started in the morning. Now, that's a good point. You think nowadays everything seems to be an outpatient procedure. You know, it used to be they keep you in the hospital for a couple of days. Now that uh, older person or any person can just be sent home and fend for yourself, right? Yeah, absolutely, and that's a big deal. So what we try to do is give them the support they need at home so that they can stay there as long as possible. Yeah, how'd you get into this? It was, a, I know, a real personal story. Yeah, like many people in this industry, I had a personal experience. Uh, my son's disabled, and he became disabled while he was a teenager, uh, a little bit later in life. He was a freshman uh, in college at the time and uh, had a severe injury. So as a, as a personal caregiver for him, um, also, as someone who understands from, from our client's side how hard it is to find good quality uh, health care services out there, um, that really inspired me to get in the business and try to do something different and, and uh, um, have an impact on people's lives in the community. But you were in IT. Now, I know you had some family background that touched on medicine, but the Bright Star is actually a national organization you were able to tap into? Yeah, absolutely. Bright Star, uh, Bright Star Care is a franchise. They've been around for 10 years. Um, our owners uh, and CEO, Shelly Sun and her husband, JD, started the company almost 10 years ago and had a, a similar personal experience in trying to help uh, JD's grandmother who lived out of state and finding quality health care for her. And um, at this point, we've grown to almost 250 offices across the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, our office here in the North Hills in Pittsburgh just opened two months ago, but we have been around in Pittsburgh for almost seven or eight years now. Wow, okay. So, and uh, you know, is, is it a challenge? I mean, you mentioned the circumstances with your son. Is that all too often the way this happens? People don't bother to get support until there's some sort of a crisis? Yeah, that's typically what happens. Most of our, um, most of the time that people need our services reactionary. So mom or dad might fall at home. Uh, that requires uh, admittance to the hospital. You know, that follows with a couple of weeks in a rehab facility. And that's the first time families really start to think about, you know, is it safe for mom and dad to live at home or do I have to consider something else like a personal care or assisted living facility? And that can get really expensive really fast. Yeah, absolutely. Many people don't realize that personal care, assisted living, skilled nursing facilities aren't, aren't covered by Medicare, um, so that it can actually be more cost effective if they could think about bringing some home care support in sooner, so that we try to avoid those things like falls in the home uh, and other incidents that might require you know, a hospital stay or, or a stay in a rehab facility. And that can take a real conversation though, because often mom and dad, as they're getting older, they're convinced they can hang in there, they're doing fine, they don't need this kind of help and support, and they sure don't want to spend the money on some outsider coming in. Yeah, that's absolutely true, and, and that's, uh, that's a big problem. Um, it, it's hard to convince mom and dad that they might need some help and to accept it. Um, from, from the economic standpoint though, it's in the long run, it can actually be more cost effective for people if they bring some help in sooner just to avoid, um, uh, if they can stay at home sooner, if they could just put off staying in a personal care home or assisted living for a year or two, they could pay for several years of home care service. Now, what about finding the people to, to work that you can have confidence <coughs> in? Because you're talking about skilled nursing, this kind of support, or, or is it tough to find people to staff a company like Bright Star? Uh, absolutely, staffing is probably one of the biggest challenges we have. and. Uh, the only real thing to do um, in order to, to um, find the best people possible is to continually work at it. So today, we have, we're interviewing two, three people a day on a regular basis, and uh, we really need to do, do that and keep that process going in order to find the best and compassionate caregivers out there to meet the needs of our clients. So here in our region, what kind of a geography are, are you serving or is Bright Star serving? 
Well, today, um, Bright Star, our office is new in the North Hills, so we support uh, or service Northern Allegheny County and the North Hills. There is an office in the South Hills that has been there for a long time. Um, but between the two of us, we are planning expansion over the next few years to cover all of Allegheny County and the surrounding uh, uh, counties as well. Well, well given our demographics, and we're kind of lead in the nation in growing older, <laughs> I would imagine demand for what uh, for this kind of service is only going to increase. Oh, absolutely. Uh, to start, in Alleg Allegheny County, uh, the, per the uh, population 65 and over is almost 17 percent, second just behind the state of Florida. Also, um, latest census data tells us that by uh, 20, 2020, the uh, population of 65 and over is going to increase by more than a third and more than double by 2050. So certainly uh, the demand for these services is just going to continue to grow. All right. Dave Drock from Bright Star Care. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Well, thank you for having me. And we'll be back with more of our region's business in just a moment. Stay with us.